Hey everyone, welcome back to Alps Mustang Garage. Uh, today we're uh, working on a, a gorgeous 65 Fastback Mustang here. Um, and we have some charging system problems. So I just kind of wanted to take the time to show you kind of like a quick general overview of how to test your charging system um, on your car. So uh, very first thing um, that I like to do is just kind of get your voltmeter. You can connect it here and just kind of see how many volts you're getting on your system. And right now I have a fully charged battery or almost fully charged battery. I have 12.3 volts. So fully charged would be 12.6. But when I start the engine, I should expect to see something above my 12 volts because it should be charging. I'm only registering 12.1 volts. So I'm gonna assume that I have some sort of charging system problem. So one quick little trick to, to kind of indicate is you can actually disconnect the negative battery. If the charging system is fine, you can actually disconnect the negative battery and the voltage produced by the alternator is enough to keep the vehicle running. But if it's not charging, and you're relying solely on the battery, the engine will just die. So as soon as I disconnect this negative battery, it dies. So what that tells me is I have a charging system problem. And now I can kind of dive into other things and go from there. So, so from here, what I usually do is I come over here to the voltage regulator and I disconnect the voltage regulator right here. And what you can do is use your jumper pin that you jump this first and third terminal. You can use a little paper clip just like this. And if you jump that connection, and then check your charging system voltage, And all of a sudden your voltage jumps from like 12 to like 15 or 18 or even 20 volts. Um, you know you probably have a, a voltage regulator problem. In this case, it didn't change anything. So I probably have a different kind of problem. From here I need to look to see if the alternator has a problem or if I have a wiring problem. So that kind of gives you a basic overview of how to check your uh, charging system and check your voltage regulator, just a couple of quick little tests. Um, this particular car is wired wrong. It doesn't have a charge back wire going from the battery to the alternator. Uh, whoever wired this car actually wired it wrong. So we're gonna replace the, the charge wire uh, from here to the alternator and see if we can get our uh, charging system back online. And so, now we have a correct harness that we are going to install on the alternator. So um, I find it's much easier to just remove the alternator when changing out the entire harness because I can like put it all on there correctly and then plug it into the, to the main pigtail here. So um, we're gonna dive into that today. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is disconnect uh, your battery because we don't want any kind of uh, discharges or anything like that. So, okay, disconnect the negative battery. Um, you don't have to disconnect both positive and negative, just disconnect the negative and you're gonna be fine. So now we're gonna undo the alternator. We have a top bolt here, and there's also a bottom bolt down here. Before I completely disconnect the alternator, I'm gonna undo this uh, harness. Right there. So these would just uh, disconnect like that. Okay, so now it's loose and you can actually just kind of slip your belt off. So if you're ever needing to do just a belt change, you would just loosen those two bolts and then your alternator can just kind of swing like that. There's your bottom bolt.
There's that bolt. Catch your spacer here before it falls. Right there. Okay. So your all fairs off your engine. Now there's a ground bolt, uh, a ground wire that goes to the engine block over here. Um, you can get to this from up top, and it's a lot easier with the alternator disconnected like that. Okay, so down here on the bottom, there's your ground bolt. That's the same ground for your alt for your battery ground as well. Okay, just to give you a good look at that, it's just a just a bolt going into the engine block, and it's got your ground wires in it. So, okay, so now you can take your alternator. All the way out, except for you got this feed here on your uh, solenoid. So we're going to disconnect that. Just a reminder your battery is disconnected here, otherwise, this would be a hot electrical hot feed that can arc. Okay, now your alternator is completely free. So, we have a few different uh, connections here on the back of this alternator. So this is the ground, and that's pretty old. Um, Original harness. Yeah. And uh, just for clarification, like, I know in the video I said that this was the wrong harness. This harness is actually the correct harness, it's just the original one. We actually installed this just to verify it was going to fix the charging system, which it did. So now we're going to give it a new harness that's not all, you know, cracked and broken and stuff here. So the, the wrong harness that was on this car is gone. So, I'll take off all these little studs here. Um, You'll notice some markings like GRD is for ground, so that's your ground. This FLD is for your field, and your white wire goes there. And then you have a BAT, which is for your battery. That's the black and yellow wire that goes up to your uh, starter solenoid. Okay, and then the last one is STA, which is your stator. So it also has a white wire. Um, I'm gonna better double check here. One of these is white and one is white with uh, a black stripe. Okay, so um, just to avoid some confusion, there's actually two white wires um, and on these original harnesses, sometimes the black stripe can be rubbed off. So, which is what it is in this case. This is actually a white with black stripe for your stator and your solid white is for your field. So we're gonna take that off. Okay, so that's an old original harness that um, you know he may end up keeping but uh, to avoid any kind of electrical fires we're going to put on the nice new one so in case you're wondering about what this is that's a radio suppressor for for static um, RFI interference this is kind of like a condenser it kind of acts as a cushioner for your electricity but I think they officially call that a radio suppressor. So, okay. So white with black stripe is the stator. On this particular car that has a, um, a generator light and not a amp meter or volt meter. 65, this is a kind of an early 65 fastback. Has a generator light on the cluster. So it has a, a different uh, harness on it. The battery wire. That's your black.
black with yellow. Solid white is the field. Your solid white and your uh, black and white both go to the voltage regulator. This has a little pigtail for that radio suppressor. This uh, black with red stripe is the ground. And then this one is the ground that goes to the engine block. This one goes up to the uh, uh, starter solenoid. So it gets pretty much a direct link to the battery. And then that goes to the harness that's gonna go over to the um, voltage regulator. So now that I have everything on here, I can kind of move these around to kind of where I want them. location because this is going to sit on the car like this and I can just lightly snug these this stuff is not overly tight make sure none of your terminals are making contact to the alternator itself All your boots are on and secure. Okay, it's a good little setup. Everything's safe behind their boots, and those are fresh boots. The ground is fine because it's ground. It's supposed to be touching, making contact to the case. So, okay, we're ready to go back in the car. It's all tan ground and your uh, your battery ground. Both go on this. Um, nice and snug. Put a little space around those. Right in there. Get my bolt for the bottom bracket. Get that started. Here's our main connector. That feeds over to the voltage regulator right here. This is going to come up to our So usually I can get enough tension on the belt just by putting my arm underneath this and just holding it as tight as I can while I tighten this bottom bolt. If you want to put a pry bar in there, you can do that too. I just, I'm such a nice car. I don't want to put a pry bar anywhere. It's a good tight, good tight tension on that belt. Okay, all tanners back on. Essentially, that's like a good how to on how to like replace your alternator, also. But uh, in this case, we know we just put a new fresh harness on that. Um, even if you don't have like, if you even if you had the correct harness, like these old original harnesses are just. Um, Kind of fall apart so i would hate to see like electrical fires on these old cars especially one that's already been restored it's just like not worth having old wiring in a car so, so that's freshened up um now for the verification let's just make sure our charging system is up and going so let's start this bad boy up
So, like, that's your charging system. Um, I know that's not like everything there is to know about your charging system, but that's just kind of what we had on this particular car and what we found. Um, if you have any, like, questions or comments, like, don't be afraid to make comments. If you see stuff that maybe you saw in the video or maybe you didn't see in the video, um, yeah, don't be afraid to make suggestions and whatnot. I don't know everything there is to know about Mustangs, so. I just work on a lot and I try to learn more and more every single day. So anyways, thanks for your support and we'll catch you next time.